everyone, welcome to our channel today um, where we will learn all about VPS hosting. We do lots of different types of hosting as you'll learn over the next few weeks with our YouTube videos and today's is VPS. Slightly more techie than the shared hosting. As I said before, shared hosting is our most popular package. VPS hosting is the next stage up for bigger websites. The price is variable so you do have to contact us to find out how much it would be. It starts, let me say, it around £34 per month plus VAT-ish. You know, it's, it's very dependent on the resources and the size of the VPS that you need. But I will hand over to Kyle now who will talk to you all about VPS hosting, what it does, and if you need anything else, contact us. Today we're going to talk about virtual private servers. Virtual private servers is a great little um, stepping stone from shared hosting that we spoke about last time. Shared hosting obviously is our flat with our multiple uh, houses inside, so to speak, uh, with multiple people living in it. VPS is very similar, but it's a little bit better than that. So shared hosting is the, all the resources are shared between everybody. Uh, so the server is shared between everybody and VPS hosting what we do is we dedicate a physical part of the server to you uh, so we say right you're having this much CPU this much hard drive this much this that is yours nobody else touches it it's not shared between anybody else great way of looking at this is um, like a landlord a landlord might own multiple properties you're not sharing the properties you are sharing uh, you're not sharing anything you are literally using one agent or one landlord but he physically given you just that house. You don't share it with anybody else, it's just, just your house. That's a great way to look at virtual private servers because that allows you to have your own resources, but somebody's still taking care of it. So the landlord still does your water or your gas or electric or anything that goes wrong in that sense. They are all there to protect those things. They're a great way of dedicating to another step again, but virtual private servers, the great thing about virtual private services, you can extend them, you can span them, you can move them around, you can uh, move, uh, you generally like a landlord, if you said, oh, I've grown out of this house, could, have you got any other properties to rent that are the same from the same landlord, you could move to his next property. That's how we look at VPS hosting, it's like a scalability. It allows for say, small busy customers or very big enterprise customers to have that flexibility and that's a great thing about it. Um, and that we're, that's one of the ways we suggest that VPS is, if you're outgrowing your small website, virtual private servers are the next step. They're a great little feature because you can scale them up for heavy load. You can scale them down if you don't need too much. Um, you can adjust bow if you can adjust disk space. So if you know that you're gonna be putting a lot more images on, we can turn those up a little bit more. And, they're very, and with our systems and probably a lot of other systems, you can automate them. You can literally get to the point where if you say, oh, I need another 100 gigs worth of disk space, please can you do that? We can literally within a quick, maybe 30 seconds, have you with an extra 100 gig of space on it and it, you'll see very, very minimal downtime, allowing for very quick, rapid uh, responses, rapid deployment, and it's really, really easy. Uh, some of our systems allow the customer to do it themselves and uh, that's why we generally, if, if you've got a good high traffic website or at least expanding well and growing well, we recommend having a VPS because it gives you your own resources, so your own physical location, which is not shared with anybody else, and you know that you're not gonna get slowed down because somebody else on the shared hosting is dragging all of the resources. Obviously there is implications in our shared hosting that slows that down, uh, it doesn't happen so much, but there is still the likelihood that could happen. Uh, VPS has also come with better security because it's your own environment, your own box, your own entity, your own IP address, everything. So everything is yours. So nobody is in there with you. So it's a great little security factor as well because we actually protect you in a sense because it, in shared hosting you can get, which obviously all web hosts try, well most web hosts try their best to stop widespreading of obviously viruses or any data, but obviously if you've got multiple uh, tenants on there and once they can sometimes spread across tenant to tenant, whereas if you physically own one section and you have no problems and it's only yours, there's only one person that's for, uh, is actually a tag vector and that's just you uh, because you're the completely isolated to yourself which means nothing spread 
and nothing can come in unless you say so. Uh, you can also set up your own firewall rules. You have a lot more access in the sense that you can do different software on there if you want to put different software on there. So you're not limited to shared hosting, which shared hosting says that you, you have to do what the web host is giving you and what is available. So it's very, very good for if you have a sort of bespoke environments and you need something different. Uh, we can cater for pretty much nearly everything. So hopefully that explains VPS hosting a little bit easier for you. Uh, but yeah, any more questions? We'll move on to dedicated hosting very shortly uh, and we'll get back to you. Thanks Kyle for all the information on VPS hosting today. That's probably a little bit beyond my level of knowledge, obviously, that's why we get Kyle to help us. But if there is anything else that we can do, or if you are interested in VPS hosting, you are something like a photographer or a news agent or somebody that has just a little bit bigger um, needs for their website, give us a call and we can help you out. Like and subscribe for our channel, we'd really appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you next week.